Okay, so this right here is what I'm going for. I'm going for a better 3D Mark score. The RAM is supposed to help us get at least our CPU score up higher. No fancy intro today. We're going to go straight into what is going on. So you can see this is one of my more recent runs themselves. Our GPU is doing just fine. We were able to get higher frequency, but I don't know if that is going to stay because we are going to dial in our next set of values. You can see right down here. This is the new G skill, and I am running at that 3.8 gigahertz rating that I talked about in the previous video. But did it matter? That's really what I want to talk about today. So here are my ADA 64s. You can see we have increased across the board here at the top that is directly related to the RAM itself. This is the 16 all the way with the 32 RAS and we're running 3.8. Latency went down, copy, write, read, all better numbers, except for in this one run here where everything kind of went pear-shaped, but that's fine. That's why you run multiple runs. So from this standpoint, from ADA, yes, things look a lot better. From a 3D Mark standpoint, yes, we are making progress. What about from a gaming standpoint? Well, if we bring up our Cap Frame X, right here you can see G Skill Max and those two G Skills. So we're going to jump over here to our comparison, and you can see two sticks of G Skill and G Skill Max. What happened here? It's one frame. It's simply one frame, but our latency is now higher because we tuned it in. But if we compare this against the Corsair memory that I was running, you can barely see a difference. So Borderlands, Borderlands isn't giving us the comparison that maybe we actually want. So how about Far Cry 5? G scale maxed up at the top. Average, higher. Latency, better. Better across the board. Okay, so Far Cry 5, older game. What about a more recent one? What about Hitman 3? G Skill Maxed. Look at that. Nice tight grouping there. Regular G Skill, though, and Corsair. So it improved average frames and it did improve the overall lag and latency numbers. Everything moved in the right direction except with Borderlands. And the next video. We're going to go through 3D Mark. It is going to be a longer format video. We're going to go over CPU and GPU, talk about exactly what is happening when you are running 3D Mark and how you might be able to adjust for it. This right here is the G Skill calculator. No affiliate links here, no sponsorships here. I just happen to like what G Skill is doing right now. So I've set this up. Here's my motherboard. Here's my chipset. Here is the actual motherboard that I'm using. You can see I chose 16, 16 gigabytes. Now I typically have to run 32, but that is because I do Premiere. That is because I do rendering. That is because I do virtual desktops. So I need a lot of RAM because I'm splitting my RAM across multiple applications that really love RAM. But normally I would say you can get by with the 16, 16 all 36 RAS. So these are the, the dem kits that are available to you. I really like these guys here. I really do. If you are in the market, if you are in the market for RAM right now, this is your best value to performance RAM. So you do have to be careful when you're selecting the color that you're choosing because not all colors come in the same configurations. So in this instance, you got black and white and silver and white. You can see this is a 4,000. And if we come over here, you're looking at $60 more. This is 41% more. I don't think it is worth it. When you are moving up into the 32 gigabyte range, this becomes even more expensive. And I still don't think it's worth it. The 5000 and the 3000 series really do well with that 3.6 and this 16 all with 36 RAS. That is kind of the sweet spot for performance and value, that is what I'm going to recommend that you consider. But if you want something a little bit faster, there you go. Again, I really like this G-Skill. Next video, we are going to talk all about 
3D Mark. We are going to see if I can get this score higher in the rankings. CPU, GPU, we're going to talk all about it. 